This lesson is on powers of 10. Powers of 10 is when you have 10 to the first, or maybe 10 to the second, or 10 to the third, and so on and so forth. The way this works is 10 to the first is just 10. 10 to the second would be 10 times 10, which equals 100. And 10 to the third would be 10 times 10 times 10 three times. 10 times 10 times 10, and that equals 1,000. So basically, the number of zeros behind the 1 should match the exponent. There's one zero behind the 1, and our exponent is 1. There's two zeros here behind the 1, and your exponent is 2. And there's three zeros behind the 1 here, and your exponent is 3. These are your powers of 10 and their values. Powers of 10 are very useful when, at, when multiplying and dividing whole numbers and decimals. For example, 47 and 43 hundredths times 10 to the second is a very easy problem to do. Basically here, you're multiplying by 10 to the second, so you're really multiplying by 100, but you know your product needs to be bigger than 47 and 43 hundredths. Because our number system is the base 10 number system, and we're dealing with two tens, we just move our decimal two places to the right. That now gives us 4,743. You can also do division. Forty-seven and forty-three hundredths divided by ten to the second. You know your quotient needs to be smaller than forty-seven and forty-three hundredths, so you need to move your decimal to the left. Here, we gotta move it two spots again. One two, and your answer is 4,743 ten thousandths. So again, powers of 10 are very easy to use. All you do is multiply and divide by powers of 10 by moving your decimal as many places as your exponent says. Remember, division, move your decimal to the right, or I mean left, to get a smaller number, and multiplication, move your decimal to the right to get a bigger number. Thank you for watching my video on powers of 10.